Does Where You Live Affect How You Live? Haudenosaunee and Algonquians by Meredith. Does Where You Live Matter? Well, here is how geography of New York affected how the Haudenosaunee and Algonquians lived. There are many landforms where the Haudenosaunee lived that affected their lives. For example, the Adirondack Mountains made it tough for the Haudenosaunee to travel because they are big in your way and it is challenging because the Haudenosaunee have to go up and down the mountains many times. Also, plains were used often for farming. They were very useful. Another landform that affected the Haudenosaunee's lives were forests. Forests affected their lives because the Haudenosaunee made a section in the forest where they could build their villages. The Algonquians' lives were very much affected by the landforms they lived on. One landform is forests. Forests affected their lives because there were many trees, so the Algonquians used the bark to make bark-covered domes. Also, the Catskill Mountains affected the lives of the Algonquians. For example, the mountains were big and in your way. It is also difficult because the Algonquians have to go up and down mountains frequently. One more landform is Long Island. Long Island is very close to the Atlantic Ocean, which was good for fishing. There are many bodies of water that affected the lives of the Haudenosaunee. One body of water is the Finger Lakes. They used the Finger Lakes for transportation, fishing, and the lakes gave them clean water to drink. There is also Lake Ontario. This lake affected their lives because the Haudenosaunee got to use the lake for transportation and for fishing, just like the Hudson River. Here is one more body of water the Mohawk River. The river was very useful to the Haudenosaunee because that gave them lots of water to fish and to trade with other nations. There are lots of bodies of water that affected the lives of the Algonquians. Here are some of them. The Atlantic Ocean was a great source of food for the Algonquians. Also, the Hudson River affected the Algonquians' lives by giving them nice water to fish from and to use for transportation. One more body of water is Long Island Sound. This body of water gave the Algonquians nice fish when they went fishing. Natural resources affected the Haudenosaunee's lives tremendously. There are so many, I cannot name them all. Here are some of them. One of them is trees. Trees give the Haudenosaunee wood for fires and longhouses. Another natural resource is deer skins. The Haudenosaunee use deer skins for warmth and cloth. Clo- clothes. One more natural resource, is, natural resource is the fish they fish for. That kept them full and not hungry. Algonquians used natural resources so much, and they affected their lives so much as well. Some of them were the Three Sisters. The Three Sisters were corn, beans, and squash. The Algonquians used that to make succotash, which which is a stew of the Three Sisters. Another natural resource is, is flint. The Algonquians used flint to sharpen sticks and tools. One more natural resource is deer skins. The Algonquians used that for warmth and clothes. So does where you live matter? Yes, it very much does. Those are some of the reasons how geography of New York affected the lives of the Haudenosaunee and Algonquians. Thank you for watching. Bye!